the jazz club had a low hum that filled the room. Glasses clinking and people talking made up the background noise. Travis Kelsey leaned across the table and looked at Taylor Swift. He looked too wide in his fitted suit. Travis had a tough season, and they were happy because the Kansas City Chiefs had just won their third Super Bowl. This is perfect, Tay, Travis mumbled. His voice was warm, which stood out against the cool atmosphere. Just what I needed to unwind. Taylor gave a smile, and her eyes sparkled. Thought you might like a break from the spotlight for a bit. They started to talk easily with each other, remembering the best parts of the season and making fun of each other's jobs. Travis, who is always charming, told Taylor stories about his pranks on the field, and Taylor told Travis stories from behind the scenes of her most recent tour. The music changed to a slow, soulful tune as the night went on. The spotlight went out, giving their table a soft glow. Taylor reached for her purse. She looked a little nervous as she did so. Travis, she said in a soft voice, I wanted to give you something. She took out an old leather-bound notebook that was full of notes she had written by hand. Travis rubbed his forehead in confusion. It was a soft take that he asked, what's this? Taylor stumbled over her words as a blush rose up her neck. It's a collection of lyrics I've written, inspired by you. Travis was shocked. Taylor, who is known for writing personal songs, had written everything she felt about him. He turned the pages, and with each line, his eyes got bigger. The lyrics talked about how determined he was on the field, how enthusiastic he was, and how strong he was in a nice way off the field. Some people even made fun of the way he celebrated touchdowns. Travis's throat got a lump in it. When he looked up at Taylor, his eyes were filled with awe and sadness. Tay, he choked out, this, this is amazing. I have nothing to say. Taylor reached across the table and put her hand on his. Just know that Travis, you make me happy. It's more than you think. Travis's face lit up with a slow smile. It was dark in the jazz club, but the music and Taylor's touching words made him feel warm in a way that no title trophy could ever do. This was the real win. He leaned in and said, thank you, Taylor. His voice was rough. This is the best present I've ever had. As the night went on, the music became less important than their own private symphony of laughs and whispered secrets. As they walked out into the cool night air together, Travis knew one thing for sure, Taylor's kind act had not only touched his heart, but it had also made their bond stronger in a way that no touchdown could. Fairy lights strung across the roof sparkled like a million stars in a bottle. The city of Kansas City stretched out in front of them, a tapestry of blinking lights that matched the view from above. Travis Kelsey finally felt the stress in his shoulders melt away after a long, hard season. He sat back in his chair and quickly looked over at Taylor Swift sitting across from him. Even though her smile was as real as ever, there was something else about it tonight. Travis took a sip of his wine and said, this place is amazing. Taylor's smile got bigger. Wait till you see this. She took a worn out book with a leather cover out of her bag. Travis got a shock when he saw the familiar red cover. It was the yearbook from his high school. Remember when I borrowed this? Taylor asked with a smile on her face. Memories came flooding back. Teenage Travis, who was awkward and shy, worked up the nerve to ask Taylor Swift to sign his notebook. And she kindly said no after laughing, a kind laugh, but still a laugh. The image made him feel bad because it reminded him of himself in high school. But tonight, Taylor took out the book and turned to a certain page. There was a message carefully written in her beautiful handwriting, tell Travis to always aim for the stars. Taylor Swift you can do this oh, I'm sorry about the dodge in the hall. I was scared to write something cool. Travis was shocked. He had felt the pain of being turned down for years. Here was proof that Taylor still believed in him back then. He looked up, and his eyes were filled with a lot of different feelings. Tay. His voice broke. Taylor reached across the table and touched him. Her touch was warm and soothing. Travis, you've always been great. You had to shine in your own way. Travis blinked away tears, and a smile broke out across his face. They were on a date, but it was more than that. 
It was the end of a journey and a sweet confirmation from the woman who had unknowingly shaped his goals. Even though the city lights were bright, Taylor's kind act stood out to Travis. He was sure that this night, which would always be remembered because of the note in his notebook, was the beginning of something truly amazing. The fairy lights that were strung across the roof twinkled like a million tiny stars, making the cozy spot that Travis Kelsey and Taylor Swift had made for themselves cozy. The cityscape of Kansas City, which Travis called home, stretched out in front of them. They had been dating for a year. Their quick romance was a pleasant relief for both of them. The charming tight end with a good heart, Travis, and the pop star with a great storytelling skill, Taylor, were the perfect match for each other. Tonight was unique. The AFC Championship game was coming up the next morning. It was Travis's biggest game ever. There was a low hum of tension that could be heard over their laughter and whispered talks. All of a sudden, Taylor reached into her purse and took out an old notebook bound in leather. Travis's eyes furrowed in surprise. He asked in a voice that was almost a whisper, what's that? My lucky charm, Taylor joked with a laugh. Remember how you told me about keeping a gratitude journal during your rookie year? Travis laughed as a nice memory came back to him. During his early years, he had told Taylor about his problems and how much self-doubt he felt. Taylor opened the notebook and saw that her neat handwriting was all over the pages. She said, this is full of things I'm thankful for. But the last few pages. Her voice stopped, and Travis leaned in closer. He felt excited immediately. There were stories on the last few pages, with bright colors and fun styles. Stories about Travis's game-winning catches, his contagious enthusiasm on the field, and his unshakable devotion to his team. At the end of each story, there was a simple, emotional message that said, thank you for inspiring me. Travis's breath shook. He started to cry, which made the bright words on the page hard to read. When he looked up at Taylor, his heart was full of love that he couldn't quite put into words. Tay, he choked out, his voice heavy with sadness. This is for you, Taylor told him as she gently gave him the journal. A reminder of why you play and the people you help. Travis Kelsey, you can do this. Get out there and show them what you can do. Travis's worries were torn apart by the simple but powerful act. No longer was it just about the game, it was about the effect he had, the stories he told, and the love that kept him going. The city lights were sparkling around them as he hugged Taylor tightly. Travis knew he wasn't just going out there for himself at that moment, when the stars were out. He was going out for the girl who had the magic touch and made his gratitude book into a record of his dreams. A low hum of talk and glasses being clinked filled the cozy Italian restaurant. Travis Kelsey was in the middle of talking about a game that was coming up when he saw Taylor Swift twist a piece of spaghetti around her fork. She looked at him with a smile on her face. He had no idea that dating a big star could feel so normal. The background music stopped all of a sudden, and a soft piano opening came on. When the light hit the middle aisle, the room went silent. A young woman with a nervous smile and a guitar in her hand stood there. Uh oh, Travis said in a low voice, his good mood leaving him. They didn't really like playing music for people in public. He put a reassuring squeeze on Taylor's hand, but she pulled it back tighter. She whispered, this is for you, her eyes sparkling with tears that hadn't dried. The girl started to sing. It was a slow, sad ballad with words that I thought I knew. It was from a poem Travis had written for Taylor early in their relationship and never shared with anyone else. Travis knew them. His jaw hit the ground. How in the world? He turned back to look at Taylor. Her smile was bigger, and she looked a little proud in her eyes. She sang his private words in front of a room full of strangers, turning them into a beautiful song. As the last note ended, there were loud claps and whistles throughout the room. Travis just stood there, stunned and his heart racing. He reached out and hugged Taylor so hard that she almost seemed to fly off the ground. He finally said, Tay, that was, incredible, his voice heavy with feeling. How did you even? Taylor leaned back and dabbed away a tear. Let's just say I do things a certain way. Travis, you make me feel good. More than you think. As he held her look, the weight of her action hit him. 
It wasn't just the song, it was how open she was and how she told everyone.